Hiya folks, it's Anders and it's Wednesday, which means it's a Weight Loss Wednesday video. Well, it's, it's a Weight Loss Wednesday and a semi-flipping video because I want to get rid of all this Barbie stuff. Um, firstly though, on to weight loss. So I went to Slimming World last night. Um, I haven't been for two weeks because last week was wifey's birthday and... There was Weather Spoons and there was Pete's of the weekend before and then there was fish and chips at the weekend and yeah, it was just one of those things, you know. <clears throat> I I don't well for the most part, I mean apart from when we actually did like like takeouts and stuff like that, then I was still relatively sticking to plan, although you know, might be some sweeties and cake in there and to the mix as well. But anyway, um so I went last night and I was expecting a game. I was really, really worried I was going to get it again. However, um, I lost two and a half pounds. If you can see there, minus two point five, um, which is really, really awesome. I'm very surprised at that. I didn't think. Um, I thought I'd gained, like I say. So losing two and a half pounds when I kind of wasn't exactly sticking to plan, but was is is, is uh, I'm pleased. I am honestly pleased. Um, Food-wise, I'm going to do some sort of weird food diary stuff at some point and recipe stuff. But I made my own rice pudding because I do kind of miss a lot of sweetie stuff. Um, and again, in previous videos, I don't really like the fruit and textures are kind of weird. So I tried to make my own rice pudding with almond milk and nutmeg and ginger. And it actually turned out really good. I was quite impressed. Um, I made it in a massive dish. It was enough for three days worth easily. And it was technically sin free because the almond milk could be constituted as a healthy extra. I was using sweetener instead of sugar and so on and so forth. And the rice is almost free. Um, so yeah, so that was quite pleasing. Um, the only thing I would have done maybe is I baked it in the oven, but I think I'd have probably soaked the rice first because some of the rice was still a bit crunchy in the middle. Um, apart from that, just kind of sticking to the same stuff. And this is where it gets so you get fed up. Uh, the air fryer that we bought for doing chips and stuff like that is amazing. I'm loving it. Um, but it's just for preparation time to um, get yourself ready. And, it, you know, it takes a good hour, hour and a half to get some chips out of it. But the air fried chips are really nice. Air fried um, sweet potato chips are really nice. And I've got one of those little dicing machines that you stick for potato in it goes and chips it all evenly which is a bit fiddly but it works and it so chopping by hand um so yeah um so they, oh, yeah, i've been having a lot of that kind of stuff uh, rice is passed as the usual fish always fish and lots and lots of meat and protein i've got some steak which i'm gonna try and um turn into some jerky because i really like jerky um and yeah so that's that so yeah two and a half pounds loss that's pretty good this week i'm really really gonna stick at it um and properly properly stick to plan and hopefully i can get a better loss next week when i go for weighing as well um it's um yeah unfortunately i buggered my foot up running last week so i haven't been able to do any extra exercise this week i've still been getting a reasonable amount of steps in though early last week i couldn't run um that's all. I'll run on the Monday. I'd got my personal best. I was down to 7 minutes 30 on average per kilometre, which I'm really, really pleased about doing for Couch to 5k. And the next day my foot was hurting. Remember the day after my foot was hurting, remember by the Wednesday I was like, ah, um, and it was really struggling. But it's gone away now. Um, I'd got a tendonitis, plenty of fasciitis. So I'm going to take it easy. So no running, which sucks because I actually was really starting to get into it. I'm going to try and do a week one run tonight but i'll see how i get on um yeah so but all in all two and a half pounds losses in two weeks considering i ate a lot of bad stuff i'm really pleased about anyway so yay for slimming world um i'm also annoyed because my group hadn't got any of the nice flavors of they hadn't got the millionaire shortbread high fi bars which i'm annoyed about but anyway right so on to the next part of this video. So, I bought a few weeks ago, I can't remember if I put these into a video or not, um, but I picked up from one charity shop a load of Barbie DVDs. Um, these, and they were 60 pence each. 
from the same charity shop that I did my pocket change flip the other day because they do some for 60p each and the rest are like 10 for a pound. I was hoping they'd reduce them. Anyway, um, so I bought these for 60p each. Um, I've got 10, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, I got 11. Um, yeah, so I was going to keep them until like later in the year or Christmas or something like that. But all in all honesty, I just kind of want to get my money back on them. Um, or hopefully break even. So that was the one job lot that I got. That lot of Barbie ones. The other one that I got was this pile here. Which cost me £4.50 from another charity shop. And it's another load of Barbies. And it was like 15 And I did quickly price check these when I bought them. And some of them were about £1.52 each. So I've traded a couple in already. So I think I've almost, almost broken even on them. But... So that cost me 450, there was a few more gone from there. So I figure I think there's 15 in this lot. So what I'm gonna do is I don't want to keep hold of these. There's too many Barbies. It's just too much Barbie. I've got nothing against Barbie, um, but you see, uh, 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 that's a lot of Barbie. Um, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly price check the lot. Um, so if it would have cost me in total for all of those £10.50, um, I'm, at this stage I just want to get my money back. If I can make a couple of quid on top, that'll be a bonus, but I just want to get rid of, um, because I'm saving up for something from CEX. <laughs> it's camera related, obviously. Right then, so, what I'll do... <coughs> I should have prepared this a bit better. I need a piece of paper. Back in a sec. <gasps> da -da -da -da. Need a pen. Can't find a pen. Found a pen. <coughs> right. So, the only thing is with, I know with CEX, is they won't buy in duplicates because they say that um, you're trading. So the first thing to do is, what I'm going to do first then is I'll go through each pile from a different charity shop and see how much we're getting back off each pile. And then we'll work out from there how much I can actually get back in trading for it. Um, so, right, so I'm going to put you here. I'll see if I can film my ship. Let's see if I get the little phone. Hello, little phone. And by the way, I am really, really enjoying this. Um, it's from the same pickup video I got with all of those. Um, the Joby Gorilla Pod Action Cam one. Um, it is quite awesome. I must admit, considering it was a couple of quid and it was a 40 quid tripod, I'm happy with it. Right, so. We'll barcode it first of all. So, okay, so we have Barbie, Mary Poser, and the Fairy Princess. And we'll get 50 back for that. So we'll create a 50 pile. Okay, and then we will go to. Oh, why have you quit my app? Next up, we have a new adventure with Barbie and her sisters. Barbie and her sisters in a ponytail is 60 pence. Apparently there's a UV code inside. Oh, where is it? Devastating. Right, so that's a 50 pence pile, that's 60 pence pile. So, so far we've actually at a loss. Yeah, okay. Next up we have, what's this one? Won't scan it. Oh, hang on. Nope. Okay, Pearl, Barbie and the Pearl Princess. Pearl Princess is a 60 pence one. And again, that's got a UV one in. <gasps> Have it got the actual UV code? Oh, yes, we've got a UV code. I'm excited. I'm going to add, add that to my UV collection. Um, and, oh, the charm's missing. So sad. It's got a little dolly thing. Anyway, right, so that was a 60 pence one. So, okay, so we're, we're not even breaking even yet. Next up, we have... Barbie, Princess Pop Star. I mean, come on. 
60 pence. So we broke even on that. Next up we have, has that got a UV code? Yeah. Next up we have, Barbie in her pink shoes, 60 pence. So we're not doing too well actually on this, are we? Okay, next we have Mermaid, is it me? Mermaid Tail? Mermaid Tail 2, wow, £1.20. All right, so we're actually quids in now, just about. So I'll put that one over there, so that's a £1.20 pot. And we've got a Mermaid Tail, that was Mermaid Tail 2, we've got Mermaid Tail 1, is 60. God damn it. And then we have, what we've got next, we have... Barbie a fairy secret is 50 pence, so we'll put that in the 50p pile. And, da, 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 da. and we've got Barbie and the Princess and the Pop Star is a 60 pence one. This is not going great. Good fetch results. What have we got? Barbie and the Diamond Castle. Diamond Castle is 50 pence. Barbie and her sisters in the Great Puppy Adventure. With UV code if it's got it in it. £1.20. Okay. And has it got a UV code? It has. Woohoo, we've got a UV code. Right, so... So from the ones that cost me, a, um, I got 10 at 60 pence, so it cost me, no it's 11, so 11 at 60, so it cost me £6.60 to begin with, okay? Right, and I've got 2 at 120, so 240, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at 60, so that's 360, and I've got 3 at 50, so that's 150, so, if I go to one, so two, five, six, seven, fifty. Okay, right. So that pile, it cost me six pounds sixty, and I will get seven pound fifty back. But you know, maybe I could hold out on them. But I just want to get rid, to be honest. Um, let's just double check see if there's any more UV codes in any of them. No. Because I want them UV codes, fam. Yeah, boy. I mean, that's assuming that all of these aren't scratched to death and stuff as well, so. Oh, hang on, we've got another one. We've got another UV code. These are so going to get redeemed. I'm excited. Uh -huh. Oh, somebody's actually done the checklist. So these were somebody. I mean, these weren't my daughter. My daughter was never really into Barbie. But, oh, they've got a little checklisty thing of all the stuff that they've got. It's kind of sweet. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, we've got three UV codes, okay, and we've got that. So yeah, right, on to pile number two. So this was the pile that cost me £4.50. Um, I did trade in some of them already, so I kind of almost broke even on them already. So let's see how much we make back off these. Okay, so let's begin. So we have number one, Barbie and Princess Pops. Oh, I think we've got that one in that pile as well. Oh yeah, there's two Princess Pop Stars in that pile actually. So now I've got three Princess Pop Stars. <coughs> and we're back. Memory card filled up, so it's all over. Um, don't know where it recorded to, so we'll skip ahead. So to summarise, if I haven't, that bit didn't record. For the pile from the one charity shop that cost me £6.60, I'll make £7.50 back on, which is garbage. Um, from the pile that was £4.50, um, that's a 50p one, that's a 60p one, 
Barbie and her secret door we were just up to, so we'll get back right in and see. Um, have we got a UV copy in there? Have we, have we, have we? Sadness. No UV copy, but Barbie and her secret door. It sounds disturbing. Right, so that's a 60 pence one. Okay. We have Puppy Adventures. I know this is a £1.21 because I got that from there. Yes, that's a £1.21. Great Puppy Adventure. Put that in that pile. Pearl Princess. Um, oh! Whoops. They broke. What we got now? We got this one. We're on scan. Oh no. What is it? Pearl Princess, I think this is a 60p one again. Pearl Princess 60p. Is there a UV code in it? No, there isn't. Sadness. Okay. Barbie in Princess Power with a free Barbie mask inside. Oh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? No! And the UV cup is gone as well. Curses. So Barbie and is 50 pence. Wow. Barbie Starlight Adventure includes a free Barbie Dreamtopia movie, a new kind of princess. Wow. Starlight Adventure. And we will get 60 pence. Okay. Barbie, a perfect Christmas. What's your perfect Christmas, Barbie? Oh, it's got puppies and stuff in it. Aww. 50 pence. Uh, that's a 50 pence ball. Barbie and the 12 Dancing Princesses. 60 pence. Barbie, Video Game Hero. Wow. <gasps> Free 3D stickers and UV copy. I bet they use. <gasps> no, there is one. We've got a digital download. Awesome. I'll put that to the side. Okay, what are, what are we on this for price? Um, 50 pence. Ooh. Barbie in Discover Your Inner Sparkle. A fashion fairy tale. Oh, I won't scan. Fashion fairy tale, 50 pence. Barbie in Princess Charm School. school. Oh my. Come on, Barbie, how do you charm people? twenty. Oh, right, okay, that's a decent one. Barbie and her sisters in a ponytail. Sixty pence. Is there a UV copy? Yes, there is. Happy times. Barbie Spy Squad, last one. Oh, it's a UV one as well. Let's see if there's a code in there. 60 pence. Okay, is there a code? No. Denied. Okay, so we have two at 120. That's what it says. So that's 240. We have one, two, three, four, five at 50p. So that's 250. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at sixty pence, which is four twenty. Hey. So one carry over one, so two. I can't math, so that's eight. Nine pounds nine pounds ten. We'll get back off all of them. Plus I traded in two already, so that was like, so that would have been, I think I traded in two at two pound each. So, so nine, ten. Um, so that's like about 13 pound, 10 pence off that. Uh, add that to the 7.50 from the other one. So I'll make about, all in all back, so if it would have cost me 10 pound, 50, I'll make just over 20 quid back, which is not bad. That's not bad, um, but I just want to get rid of them. 
I like to say. So I won't be able to try all of them in today because again there's duplicates and I think they'll get a bit funny about it. But at least it gets rid of them and I've still got a couple of other things from yesterday to get rid of as well. Right, so, and we've got some UV codes, I'll redeem in a bit, just because, I don't know why, I need them in my library, they're amazing. Alright, okay, so thanks for watching, so yeah, this has been Weight Loss Wednesday update, and also a little mini, mini daily vlog, as I said, I'm going to try and do one a day. Me and daughter are off on an adventure, we are going to look at guitars today, because she's now officially broke up from school. Um, so we're going guitar hunting into Birmingham, and so on, so I might take you along with me, we'll see. Right, thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Right, we're back. That has been an epic quest. What's my step count for the day? Hang on. I should tell you my day. I have walked today 8,682 steps. Which is quite a lot. Um, right, so, here's the deal. I recorded a video earlier, um, which will be the first part of this one, and Madam wanted to go and look at guitars, so we went to a place called PMT over Birmingham. Um, massive, massive shop. They've got some really nice stuff, but what I really didn't like about there is pretty much every single guitar that they had said, take this to the till and we'll give you the best price on it, take this to, and you don't know whether you're looking at a hundred quid guitar or a thousand pound guitar, um, so yeah, wasn't too keen on that, um, they'd got a nice selection, they hadn't really got much in the way of what we wanted, um, though she did try out um, some of the new uh, Yamaha models, so <clears throat> we went from there and was like, right, so we're going to Birmingham, or because Madam was obsessed with a guitar that she saw at the weekend and it's her 16th birthday next week so we're going to bite for her anyway so I said right okay we saw this one in Burton on Trent at the weekend so I was like okay so we go to Burton on Trent so we drove all the way from Birmingham A38 all the way to Burton on Trent and um, went to the music shop and they'd still got it it's brilliant um, so yeah to play on it it's electro acoustic it's beautiful I'll show it in another video because it's been away for now. Um, managed to get £10 off the price and yeah. Um, so while we were out and about uh, in Burton I thought hey charity shops again you know why not. I tried it in all of the um, Barbies and I got 17 pounds. Let me see. £17.61, um, but I did buy a game for 50p, so it would have been £18 something. Um, most of them were to be expected. I wouldn't accept a couple. Um, I was a bit disappointed that the FIFA manager that I picked up for PC um, only went for a penny when I checked online and it was supposed to be £1.20, but never mind. Uh, but yeah, most of the Barbie ones were getting 60 pence each for, 50 pence each for, so on and so on and so on. Um, <clears throat> but I got them out of the way. So, I mean, all, all in all, so we've, so the Barbie ones, minus off Captain America, it's free, minus off Cinderella, which was 120, so minus 4, 20, 17, so 14 quid. So we kind of broke even and got rid of it, but yeah, anyway, and I've still got four of them left, which were duplicate ones, which were a bit funny about taking. Anyway, so we've been to, um, oh yeah, they wouldn't take Rosie and Jim, which was a big payout one from my... What can I buy for two pound video um, because it was too scratch. So a bit annoyed about that, never mind. So we bought a game because we've got a PS2 dance mat and we thought we figured, hey, PS2 dance games, it looks terrible. Um it's 50p. Wow, breaking the bag. Um, but while I was charity shopping, of course, you know, I picked up some pieces and pieces. So I got a mini pickup, not that exciting. Um, <clears throat> Got Lego Batman 2, which was a pound, which is a, not in a non proper case, but handily, I got some proper Xbox cases the other day, so we'll swap that over. Uh, that's trading at three quid, so that's cool. Um, uh, I got some more Barbies, I got five for a pound on DVDs. I got uh, Barbie and the Diamond Castle, I got Barbie Prince and the Pauper, I got Winnie the Pooh Disney, I got Batman Brave and the Bold. And I got Barbie and his sister's Great Puppy Adventures with a UV code in it again as well. Um, 
So, I've, so that cost me a pound for the five. I've done a quick check. That's one pound twenty. Fifty, fifty, fifty on those. So that's another one fifty, one twenty, or two ninety, and that's worth a penny. So never mind. Um, but I mean, with a two pound that I spent um, on that and all of that, you know, that's two to about six quid, which is not bad. Pretty good. But the best, the most. Ridiculous, amazing bargain. So you saw my previous video saying I bought a 250 quid tripod for a fiver, which is kind of true, although it was bits missing, it was broken. Um, but it was kind of true, and, and some people disliked it. To go with. Um, while we were charity shopping, I saw this. <coughs> this is a. Manfrotto. Uh, it is the 055 MF4 Magifiber tripod, well stand, which, uh, so it cost me, hang on, where's the little taggy thing for it, it cost me the extortionate price of, hang on, you can see on the receipt, it cost £15, right? And I figure 15 quid for a Manfrotto tripod is a bargain in itself, even though it's not worth anything, I don't really care because it's one of their nicer brand ones, it's their carbon fibre ones. So I check, I check online and just the, literally just the legs, on their own, are £300 from Wex. 300 quid, and it cost me 15 And then the head, um, it is missing the quick release plate, which is fine because I have one somewhere which I think is the same one for it anyway but the head on it as well is the hands up, down, Manfrotto 460MG head um, it isn't one that comes with like a bar I don't think I can see it just looks like that I checked online and the head on its own is about 60 quid so cost me 15 pounds the legs alone are £300, brand new. Obviously, I can't get that second hand for them. And I don't know if I want to sell them, to be honest, because it's... So, it's a carbon fibre tripod. It is It's heavy, but it's kind of lightweight as well. Um, that was crazy. Absolutely crazy. For £15. And it comes with a little carry arm as well, which not all of them come with as well, quite often. Um, hang on. Let's see if I can put you back. Show you how far it extends out. I did check it all properly and it does look to be all okay. This is where I find out it probably isn't. So. <coughs> I don't know, looks pretty solid. Adjusting this one, we still see. So it extends up to, I mean, I'm six foot tall and it's as tall as me. But yeah, the only thing that's missing from it is the quick release, which I'm not fussed about because they're cheap as chips. Um, because of the spirit, it's got a little clip on it there for something or other. Yeah, it's a bit, I mean, it's a bit battered. Not in the most immaculate condition, but 15 quid for a Manfrotto, for a Manfrotto carbon fibre. That, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome, I think. So yeah, so that was um, a little adventure. Um, yeah, so we ended up going to Burton, uh, which is where this ridiculously massive tripod came from. And then we ended up in Litchfield, which is where I got the DVDs from as well. Um, so yeah, not a bad little day. I mean, I'm very, very poor, thanks to Madden and her very expensive guitar. But it is a very lovely guitar. So, um, And she's 16, you know. It's not every day your daughter turns 16. I mean, my son's 21. So, but, you know, 16. It's, so yeah, so she wants an acoustic and we've got her acoustic. She's happy. We're happy. Everyone's happy. Manfrotto tripod's happy. So yeah. Um, that's it. It's been a, a, 
I'm pooped, in all honesty. I'm absolutely exhausted. But it was good. I've got to go and put some washing out now. And yeah, mow the lawn. Oh, let's try. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, oh, this dry belt's amazing. Um, <laughs> so 15 quid for a 350 quid dry belt. That's mad. Shall I click bait the title again? Maybe. Anyway, thanks for watching. So yeah, you can see how much you can get from kind of flipping from the thingy. So, you know, 17 quid back from... Yeah, wasn't great, but it's, I mean, you know, I donated to charity. I feel good about myself for it. And, you know, it's got me an extra few quid to put towards something special, which I'm not going to talk about just yet. Whoops, sorry about that. Cut you off. Anyway, yeah, uh, that's it for me. Thursday tomorrow, um, I'm going to try and do another daily video tomorrow. Um, I might just do a quick, quick flip on the rest of the Disney, not Disney, Barbie ones and get some money back from that and possibly, yeah. I'm going to maybe play that. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching as always. Hope you've enjoyed. Do a like, comment, share, subscribe, subscribe, blah 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 Just subscribe so I get more likes because I'm quite vain. Struck the beard.